hey guys welcome back to my channel and a warm welcome welcome if you're new honey today we're going to talk about bill safety damar hamlin suffering a cardiac arrest on the field so if you're ready to get into this story and find out exactly what happened just stay tuned a horrifying moment took place during the bills versus Bengals game on monday night football Buffalo safety DeMar Hamlin collapsed at the end of a play and required CPR in the middle of the field. The incident happened just minutes into the game's first quarter, right after Hamlin tackled T. Higgins to the ground. The 24-year-old, who was also a six-round pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, appeared to get up from the stop just fine, but he seemed to lose consciousness after he got back onto his feet and crumpled onto the ground. Medical personnel raced onto the field, and according to the game's announcer, Joe Buck, officials performed CPR on him for several minutes. Eventually, he was strapped to a backboard and loaded onto a stretcher, and he was then taken off the field in an ambulance. Players from both teams were visibly concerned for the defensive back. Josh Allen buried his face in his hands, while Stefan Diggs had tears running down his face. Reporters on the scene said multiple other players were seen crying. Initially, the league temporarily suspended play in wake of the injury, but they did just announce today that they are not going to redo this game. Skip Bayless commented on the situation and he received a lot of backlash for what he said. He said, and I quote, no doubt the NFL is considering postponing the rest of the game, but how? This late in the season, a game of this magnitude is crucial to the regular season outcome, which suddenly seems so irrelevant. Terrell Owens decided to post his quote to his Instagram page and he left his two cents as well. T.O.'s caption to the post was, this is the most despicable tweet ever. I would like to say I'm shocked by this tweet, but quite frankly, I'm not because of who I've known you to be. I hope you lose your job for you at Skip Bayless to think the magnitude of this game trumps the life of a player is inhumane. I hope Shannon Sharp puts this in a better perspective for you since you continue to say the most unimaginable stuff out of your ridiculous mouth. There has to be some major consequences slash implications to this irresponsible ass tweet. You are a lowlife. Later on, Skip Bayless did retract his steps and he was trying to make it clear through his Twitter post that he did not mean that the situation is not important. He was just talking about the magnitude of the game. But in all honesty, I feel like that's where he should have started with. He, he should have started with talking about DeMar Hamlin and hoping that he was doing okay instead of only talking about the game. And it does come off like inconsiderate and I really didn't like the way that that tweet rubbed me because it definitely rubbed me the wrong way. So, oh, and a lot of people also felt this way as well. Other people are coming out and saying, hey, I'm sure that it was just a misunderstanding. Um, he probably didn't mean the tweet that way. And hey, that could definitely be true, but I hope for the future that he's way more mindful of the things that he says because timing is everything. And in that situation, the most important thing was the health and the safety of DeMar Hamlin, not the game. There was also an update by the Bills at around 10.36 a.m. today, which says the Bills just provided a health update on DeMar Hamlin saying that their starting safety spent the night in the intensive care unit where he still remains today. The team says DH is still in critical condition. At the end of the day, all I hope is that he comes out of this okay. So all I ask of you guys is just to keep an aura of positivity around the situation. Please don't send him and his family any hate, which I have no idea why you would in the first place. And please keep him in your prayers if you do believe in God. And also guys, I do highly recommend that you take into account your physical health as well as your mental as well, because you never know what is going to put you in the hospital you never know in this situation what's going to put you in critical condition and I didn't want this for him neither do I want this for you guys so yeah let's just leave it at that and if I have any other updates I'll definitely make sure to make another video in the meantime if you guys have any extra information feel free to leave it in the comment section and make sure you like subscribe and hit that bell that way you're notified every time I post but like I said guys please take your health into account like seriously because it really matters all right love you bye